Oh, it's just oh. it's just depressing when it's like cold and grey and horrible and yucky like this, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. This is the new version that ah, uh, that's been shaped. It is. It is. It, it's basically it's a combination of the two books that you've got. Right. Because we've been using these obviously as a as a as a. Oh, uh, so it's got the thing in the back of it. They're all. Yeah. yeah. I'll say everything in this one. Um, so it's a, it's also on. Uh, Good quality paper, but well, it's not glossy like that one. You can actually write in this one much, oh, much yeah. easier because on them it's sometimes it's hard, isn't it? Isn't it it yeah. does. You write it and wipe straight off. So I know it's like late in the day for you, but seems you've been instrumental in helping to develop it. <laughs> I thought we'd let you have one. Uh, but it's just this is going out all, all LD instructors. Uh, well, they've just come in this week, so they'll all be going out. So it's. Uh, it's uh, as a result of the testing that we've been we've been doing here. The, uh, mm. We still haven't got the. Uh, the box to take to say you were terrified about anything, but it's um, that's that's kind of taught us really, you know, that we need to ask that question. Yeah. Um, did anything scare you? Um, because you know sometimes <laughs> you sat here. <laughs> well, I think I think you're probably right. You know, you sit here sometimes looking and you think, well, yeah, everything looked like it was okay there, but if if you got all sorts of turmoil going on inside you, well, as we've seen, it doesn't help, does it? No. Which is good, but so that. So how did you feel about last week then? I'll have that one. No, oh, cheers. Let well, I did check to the... pile. <laughs> yes, you're going to need a bike to carry everything. <laughs> so you find it strange how focusing on your breathing yeah, the fact really that you're driving. Hard. It it is odd, isn't it? Yeah. It is. It's it's. Sometimes I forgot to focus on my breathing, and that's when it went a bit squish. But as soon as I started focusing on it again, it just all went. Yeah. Well, I mean, basically, what you're doing there is is just. Letting your, if you like, your subconscious mind do all the work. Yeah. Because if you try and do it all your conscious mind, things can get in the way. So you find it helpful when we showed you the step stages for coming up to a roundabout. Yeah, it's cool. So the demonstration helped. Yeah, because um, it helps sort of like give stages. Where if you read it in the book, it's just like P and N and, you know, and stuff like that. And I forget after I read it what it means. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like what they stand for. And it's just letters standing for whatever. Well, it's, that's how we learn to do a lot of things. You know, that's, I mean, that's how you learn how to walk. Mm -hmm. Just by watching Copy what was happening around you. Nobody could give you a lesson then, could yeah. you? You know, when you were, when you were just tidgy and you, you taught yourself. It's like when you learn to ride a bike. You know, I, al I always thought, well, help help my kids learn to ride a bike. I didn't really, because they only really learn when I'd go to the seat. Yeah. There you off you go. And then they fall off a couple of times and think, oh, look here on that. I'll try and do something different. <laughs> Same way. So, progressive and eco driving. So, oh, you've read the workbook. No, I didn't plan for this oh, no, last week. It's just I didn't know what yeah. we were doing this week because I thought, well, okay. I don't know what's left. So High scores, good stuff. Well, let's have a little look. So we've kind of got the full set, progressive and eco safe driving. We can maybe we build that in there. Last week, didn't we? Just about. Yeah, we can build that into everything that we do. What do you think we mean by that? Progressive and eco safe. Um, but like, if you're doing going down your hill, obviously keeping you speed in check mm. but then I'll see using momentum to carry it up the next one so you don't have to put your foot on gas as much. Yeah well it's progressive is if you like making progress when you can yeah. um, but not progress for the sake of it and eco safe driving is really a lot of the modern cars my car's a little green arrow that lights up to tell you to change up yeah so you're saving fuel but it's it's about really not braking hard not accelerating hard not steering anything you do harshly yeah it's gonna either cost you fuel or wear on the car or something that people don't often think about, wear on yourself. Yeah. So if you've got a long journey, if you drive for a living, say, for example, and you're driving around like, like you see people doing sometimes, they're wearing themselves out. Yeah. And if you're a salesman, that's not going to help you when you get to your, your next place, not going to really get the sale. No. So is there anything, if, 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 as you look at that list, is there anything that jumps out from there and says, do that? But what's defensive driving? It's about... Maintaining it's it's something that we've done a lot of anyway on, on the way on the way along. It's working out what people are going to do oh, and right, okay. not having them affect you. Yeah. Uh, so we've done quite a bit of that, but it's it, it's if you think about it, time and space is what it's about. It sounds a bit daft, doesn't it? Time and space it sounds a bit Star Trek, but it's giving yourself the time to do what you need to do or yeah. the space to do this the thing in now. That interlinked. If you've got enough space, you've got enough time. If you've got enough time, you've probably got enough space. So it's maintaining a bubble around yeah. you, so you know what everybody's doing. Stopping before you leave your town, before you get to traffic lights and stuff. Yeah, that's right. And you know, if you see somebody who's maybe behaving in a bit of a ooh, odd way, giving them a wide berth, that yeah. kind of stuff. So it's it's not letting other people's mistakes 
impact on us. Yeah. And we've seen bits and pieces of that, haven't we, where people have done outlandish things and we've just kept it out of the way. So it's, yeah. it's that kind of stuff. So... I'm not sure then. I don't okay. really know. <laughs> How about we just do a general drive then and see what we pick up on and just have a chat about various things as and when they come up. Yeah. Um, so if we're looking for a general drive, what do you reckon we could do there? How about... Oh, have you got any ideas where we might, might do that? I don't know. How about if we head out, you know, when we went into Wakefield, mm -hmm. if we head out that way, and when we get to the T-junction where we turn right to go to Wakefield, if we turn left, yep. that brings us back in through Charleston. To Charleston, Pontefract way. Yep, yep. Down, down into Pontefract, and then out perhaps past the race course, under the motorway. Past the skate area. Yep. And then through um Cass. Yes. <laughs> and back around the top top that way. Does that sound like a plan? Yeah. So that I'm gives us basically to up onto the top way and then through Castleford to get back yeah. up. It right. gives us roundabouts, gives us traffic lights, gives us pedestrian crossings on the way down into Pontefract, uh, a bit of town centre driving and a bit of open road driving. Yeah. Bit of everything. Yeah. Righty ho. Okie dokie. Turn this down so we're not bothered. Righty ho. <laughs> And we should get the chance to have a chat about maybe stuff that's going on that's that's to do with eco driving or defensive driving or that kind of stuff. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Depending on who's about. I was out with Claire yesterday and we got we got straight out at just about every junction. Really? Never happened before. <laughs> I will get stuck at everyone today. <laughs> yeah, possibly. You go when you're ready. So I think in a defensive drive in here, what might you reasonably expect to happen here? Somebody to come out, either come out of the gardens mm. or across the end. Yeah. So what have you done? Come slow. Yeah. It's defensive driving. So we go right at the end of the road. So when you've come out of the junction there, same thing, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that looks like fun. first saw them, they were travelling very fast, weren't they? Yeah, and they weren't indicating either. No. So sometimes there's a balance to strike between the two, isn't there? You know, we talk about not accelerating harshly or you know, doing anything quickly, but there, you're happy to get past yeah. the bike to get in, so you're compromising one for the other sometimes. It's good to be eco-friendly these days. Yeah, it saves money, the planet, it? but it saves you money. Yeah. And especially when you consider the price of fuel. So can you navigate yourself to the, uh, the T-junction where we turn left? Yeah. I'll let you crack on with that. little things like that where you're traveling down the road we have priority you got your eye on the car in the garage and you just eased off the yeah, tiniest you bit well, they could just you decide might just, to pull out so oh, that's, 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 that's it. not worth it <laughs> that's defensive driving in a nutshell it's the same thing here when we get the green light to go we have priority but somebody else could still come but, up so it's best just to have a quick check isn't it and at least if they've made a mistake they're not going to involve us we have to assume everybody else is an idiot. Sometimes you'll be right. <laughs> Probably 95%, but oh well. <laughs> I could possibly say. 
but I always like to stop short as well at junctions, just a little bit if I can see where our corners. Because mm -hmm. I know like at this one there's loads of buses. I always come out. Yeah, good. A bit of local knowledge. And obviously the buses have a wider swing they than do. everybody else. They do, they do. <laughs> Good with it if we practice practicing and we just go around everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Just 30 miles an hour for an hour. <laughs> Nobody about. The situation there with the bus. Yeah. You waited all up as you came around, then you made the decision to go quite confidently. Well, there's a guy still stood there waiting to get on, so. There you go. He wasn't going to go anywhere with that guy with his foot on the thing, was he? No. Well, hopefully not. If he did, he'd be in trouble. <laughs> yes, I suspect he might be in seeing the boss in the morning if he did that. But it's picking up that kind of stuff, so you're not just looking up the road, you're looking up the inside of the bus. It's good stuff. Signal manoeuvre, but sometimes you've got to you've got to signal your intent. Otherwise, people will just sit, can't let you in. I'm seeing you. Yeah. And driving in London, sometimes it's it's different because it's just just the sheer amount of traffic.
bike. Left. It does. Yeah. Well, they've been to right on this one, so. So obviously, when we get the green, they should get the red. But yeah. it's worthwhile maybe just keeping an eye just, just to be sure. To sneak out, yeah. forward there, there's some hatch markings, yeah. which you've, you've done the right thing, you've kept out of. Sometimes, I mean, can you think of a situation where you might think about cutting across those? If there's an ambulance coming. Get you out of the way, that's for sure, but yeah. how about if you've been, if there's somebody pressing you from behind and it looked like if you took the right route, they might cut in. In those circumstances, I might be tempted just to go across because it's a dotted line at the edge. Yeah. So you can go in. If it's a solid line, you're not allowed in at all unless it's an emergency. So I would maybe think about if I thought, you know, let's say for example that blue car had been a bit of a bully on the way down. Yeah. I'd be thinking, hmm, I need to defend my position here. I'd be keeping an eye on him. Yeah. I think it's all part of that. You're playing the what if game really. But what if this guy does do something daft? What if they don't do what they should do? the way you did it anyway.
so you can go both ways. You think you'll learn something new every day? Don't take my word for it, but I think you can. <laughs> this, is this the way we came back? No. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. Forget that. I think if you just keep going straight, I think you can go through for this air shells to the fair thing. Oh, I see, right. I think. So I see, yeah. So we'll head towards Pony then. I thought the road went round and right, right, this was a T junction, but it's not, is it? Shut up then. <laughs> so yeah, being defensive is, is is about what's in front as well, but it's all also about trying to predict what other people might do. Not only the people behind, but sometimes you know you might get your eye on a road coming up here and you think, well, is Is he going to pull out? That's a nice control, that's being well done. Doesn't feel like a 40 this one, does it? It's yeah. big, wide open. certainly is, but we were doing 40 when he came past, so oh, we were heading up towards 40, yeah. so how fast do you think he was going when he came back? Yeah. Bless him. Well, that's what defensive driving's all about, it's being aware of these people and, and if you like, making decisions for them sometimes, but certainly keeping yourself out of trouble. I suppose we have to give them the benefit of the doubt and think, well, you might be a really good driver just on a bad day. Yeah, maybe. So what was in your mind as you came there? Where was the potential danger? Thinking about the bend and then that we might pull out there really quick.
how you're feeling as we're negotiating these traffic lights and such. Fine. Cool. What are you thinking as we come in here? see that quite a lot here, don't you? You've kept yourself a good distance away from it. That's good. What was you thinking there? Well, because there's not a lot of space and, you know, they might not set off straight away. Good. Good stuff. So if he does do something stupid and hits the car in front, you've still got room to get around. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. I feel like when he like, starts going round, this car in front would have to put brakes on, wouldn't it? And then he'd have gone into back of it. Yeah. And then I'd have got him back in him if I were if I were right off his bum. Distractions for drivers these days, radios, CD players, yeah. telephones, iPads. Passed a guy in the motorway the other day that was actually reading a newspaper. Really? Unbelievable. <laughs> On what planet is that a good idea? Reading a newspaper. It's just like, oh my goodness. But what drivers do, I know they don't do it when they're driving, but they pull up and they sit there with newspaper out. Then we'll set off again. But when they're setting off, they're still faffing, trying to put newspaper away. Yeah, it's because we feel safe in the cars. We don't, we don't see the danger, I suppose. Oh, I forgot about these roadworks. Uh, yeah. Tell you what, should we go left of the lights? Yeah. And then we go up to North Phyllis and then go along past the golf course and the pony that way. Sat in queues of traffic, is it? No. So, where's the danger here, do you think? In terms of keeping yourself safe defensively, thinking about other road users? Um, pedestrians crossing over after mm. lights have turned to green for yeah. us to go. Um, It's just like, you're going where? That's an interesting situation with the black car turning right. Mm. You give him more room. What was he thinking there? Thinking, well, it's slowing down and it's going right, but I don't want him to, you know, to make it back into him sort of thing. Mm. But I don't want to have to stop completely. What might have made him stop? I thought you'd noticed them. It's well done. That's why I asked, because as, as the pedestrian took a step towards the path, I felt you ease off. Yeah. So I thought you'd seen him. That's well done. That's excellent observation. That's a very complicated situation that you've worked out, which is great, and acted accordingly. That's what defensive driving's about. Like there. On a 
initial look, it would probably feel like you'd slowed for that car coming the other way. Yeah. But I suspect it was the little girl running. Yeah. They always freak me out, kids, like, you know, not on reins or in yeah. a push chair or whatever. We certainly hit plenty of hazards coming along, yeah, haven't we? Yeah. This was good. We'll go right and we'll get to the crossroads, don't we? Yes, please. Well, I suppose we can go ahead as well, can't we? That takes us through Cass and Asda, and that, doesn't it? Yes, it does. The cool side, I think. That may be more interesting. Yeah, drive around Cass if you want, don't mind. Okay. I know it well enough, I have to walk across town every morning to get bus. <laughs> There's a shuttle station up there for refurbishment now. Oh, are they? Oh, yeah. Brother. But they didn't tell anybody. There were no signs in Castle Station or on buses. So yeah. yesterday morning I got kicked off bus, bus station. I had to walk all the way across town to Bottom Town to get a bus next one to work. Oh. Then got kicked off at Bottom Town after work and I had to walk up, up to bus station to get a bus. So that was fun. I don't sound like you're too impressed by it. <laughs> I wouldn't mind if there'd have been any warning but the one. They're just like, right, this is an end of service, get off now. Alright. Where do I get a bus from? Well you have to walk up to the bus station for that. Oh cheers. But there's signs in Wakefield bus station about Casper Station being shut, but there's no sign in Casper Station about it. Well it looked like they needed some money spent on it. Yeah. I well, we were in there the other day when it was pouring it down, it all roof were leaking. Straight on. Yes please. to go down again, do you think it's doing alright? No, I picked up. <laughs> Probably could have gone down again, it's really far, mm. that was that. Uh... Maybe, maybe. I'm going past my school in a minute. So that's the situation there. Although we have priority, we weren't going to get it, were we? No. But you've done the right thing and kept yourself out of trouble. see people doing that kind of thing where they'll so the situation you're in now you come out of his way because he's coming through I've seen people where they'll just go over and they'll stay out trying yeah. to make some kind of point but what they don't think about is the consequences of yeah. what if that goes wrong you might have made your point and you can argue it quite nicely in the next hospital bed yeah, yeah but I was right <laughs> I've still got six months off work. <laughs> Oomph coming out with them. So 
as we follow the road ahead here towards Kutzeik. with the traffic coming the other way, so you've taken the sensible option there. Yeah. It hasn't cost you any time. Oh, we smell gas. Oh, he's coming down here. That's really strong though, isn't it? Mm. It always seems to be just down that road. Don't wait. 
to bow straight on through, why not? <laughs> How would you say your decision making's been today? Good. What do you reckon? Have you got into trouble at all? Have I got into trouble today? Yeah. No. Which one's been screwed right this? Right hand side. Oh. Uh. First click will just put it on every few seconds. Next click puts it on all the time. Same decision, um, which I think was the right one. Probably glance to right. Maybe. To see if anybody would come around. Possibly. And then possibly explain to instructor why you did it. Yeah. Tell him exactly why you've done it. And then he knows. Yeah. He knows it's not incompetence and that you've actually thought it through. And you have taken what was the safer option. Yeah, 
But in terms of defensive driving, that, that was the right thing to do. So is it right here or the next satellites? Right here. Right, okay. Well, then you show me the sights. Okay, you got me on unfamiliar territory again. It's going to have it, isn't it? <laughs> this little box car. Jimmy always wants me to get square cars. Like every time we go up that motorway, like, what do you get one of them? It's like this square box thing. What is it? A Nippa X? Not clue. Hmm. Box. It is a bit. Uh, Stephanie, my daughter, had her first car was a Fiat Panda. The boxy one. Yeah, yeah. The four-wheel driver, she loved it. She did lots of miles in it. And eventually went to Panda Heaven. over the line a teeny bit, but it is only a teeny bit, isn't it? Yeah. The key thing was you were aware of what was happening ahead of you. Yeah, if a bus comes around, you just have to do a shuffle, won't you? He'll step in. This thing is why I see them doing anyway. I used to drive buses. Not that hard of a maneuver. talk about expecting the unexpected. You have to end that, don't you, sometimes? I mean, that was just like completely ridiculous. Well, if you'd been a little closer, there's not a lot you could have done about it, is there really? But, the golden rule in driving always 
speed is never drive so fast that you can't stop in the distance you can see to be clear. Yeah. And you were travelling at that speed, weren't you? So you were able to actually stop. How did that feel? How do you think that all went? We did as it happened. Um, you'd think we'd planned that for a defensive drive one because we saw a lot of stuff happening, didn't we? Mm -hmm. the, um, do you think you dealt with all of those hazards yep. as well as you could have done? The, I mean, the last one was a very that interesting crazy one. Wasn't it? It? <laughs> oh, it's just, and it's. Uh, how did it make you feel when that happened? Which one? The van. The van. I'm thinking, I know you're going to do it. I can see you, I can see you coming past and I'm thinking, mm. I'm going to have to stop because there's nowhere I can fit in that gap. First of the choice, were you? No. But it's surprising how that can then rattle you a bit, can't yeah. it, really? Because it's just like, why would he do that? It's, I mean, he took so many chances there. Well, I you mean, could see me coming down. Well, what else might have gone wrong for him? Any idea? Bus might have set off. Yeah. Where would he go then? Yeah. It's just like, that's just silly because there was nobody getting on and off the bus, was no. The bus was looking to move off. Yeah. So that's, that's a dodgy one, so you've dealt with that well, but not to worry about stalled afterwards, but do you think the two things were linked? Possibly. It's surprising, you know, when, when things like that happen, they can impact on you. Uh, what it does is it probably picks your heart rate up a little bit, or just <gasps> gives you a little bit of a shock. And it's, and so is there anything you can do to help with that, do you think? If you were going to replay that and redo it, anything you might change, what would you do different? I'd do my breathing. Maybe, yeah. Um, because it can have an effect. Um, you know, we'd driven for 57 minutes there and not stalled once. Yeah. And then something like that happens and you get the stall afterwards. It doesn't matter because you dealt with it. Um, but it, it can rattle you. 
and it, I think we can sometimes be surprised at how much it can rattle you and mm. the effect it can have. But that's a that was a potentially very dangerous situation. Yeah. Uh, because yeah, he just didn't think. If he would have gone into all them cars outside, wouldn't he? If he'd if have to go anywhere. Or worse, he might have run into us. Mm. <laughs> just like, so, no, it's good. I mean, it, if you have a look at the you know the stuff that we were working on, the defensive driving and the... How do you think your, your eco driving was through that? Um, not bad. Struggled up a couple of hills. Okay. Because they obviously had to go up, up and slow because mm -hmm. the traffic lights. So, so yeah. I couldn't use momentum to carry me up. Yeah, maybe could have dropped down there, but... Um, we talked also, didn't we, about steering, braking, and doing everything gently. Yeah. How do you think you did that today? Fine, apart from when we made me brake harshly, you know, with Van and that car coming across. Oh, not a lot you can do about that, yeah. now, is there? That's, That's what they've done in it, not me, so. But in all the stuff that you've done, you've planned for stuff, you're spotting what's happening. You know, when I asked you the questions about there was one or two really quite complicated situations, like that one. I figured you'd, you'd eased off because the pedestrian looked like he was going to step out. Um, but I'd want to just say, was that for the pedestrian? Because you could have just gone, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so it was nice for me to investigate that and see that you've, you've picked all of that information up and you've acted accordingly. Um, and then the next one with the little girl, yeah. um, it would have been easy to think it was the car coming the other way while they rally us, it was probably both. Yeah. Uh, so no, it's good, it's good. The, uh, and the question I asked you earlier on about, you know, how would you describe it? Smooth is how it feels at this side. If you had the box to tick, did anything rattle you or frighten you today? Would you take it? Just for that car coming to the other side of the road, you know, when he came out the corner. Don't give me a phrase there. I didn't see him. <laughs> and he were on my side of the road, like three quarters of the way over, so. Didn't give me much of a chance, did he? No. The, um, if I was ticking a box for the same thing, that would be the one that did me, or the yeah. potential here, because yeah. that could have gone badly wrong. That was um, crap, that, wasn't it? Totally, everything, both of those situations, totally out of your control. Mm. Nothing you can really do about it. Um, so we do meet these things sometimes, mm. you know, the, the guy coming on the other side of the road, well you were driving slow enough so you could stop within the distance you can see to be clear, so you were in control there, but that one there, not not really many other ways you could have played that, so yeah. I, th you know, I think that goes down as, what it feels like from this side, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what it, what it looks like, you can tell me if I'm right, you look like you're in control all the time, you didn't look flustered at any point. No, I felt um, comfortable today. Good, so. good. That's probably a turning point, I think, yeah. isn't it, really? It's, 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 you know, that there comes a point for everybody where it just starts to go back. And then we're refining and tweaking and stuff after that. But there comes a point where you become a driver, yeah. where you're making the right decisions based on what you've seen and, and you're controlling the car. Have a, another think about, you know, how you think today went, what you want to work on next time. Yeah. Um, so we've hit pretty much all sorts of stuff today, which has been, been good. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> Next week you're uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Is that right? No. Oh, rats. <laughs> We've got a suspension of the other chef at work. Ah, so now I'm ah, doing all the shifts. Right. I have got a calendar in the house, so I'll pop in and get it and it's colour coded as to what days I've got off. Alright. Um well just drop me a message on Facebook yeah, when you right. offer. Um I can't do Wednesday, Thursday, Friday this week because no, I'm running a course. I think it mostly be Tuesdays because they're the ones that have booked off as holidays. Oh, and the right, rest okay. of them will be working. So it's mostly Tuesdays and I think fri right. uh, Friday and stuff like that. So. Okay, well we'll fit in with what you've got. Yeah. Great. If you just drop me it, um, yeah. we'll provisionally say Tuesday the same time and then you can let me know yeah on it. Yeah. Brilliant stuff. Okay, okay. Have a look at the new book and I'm interested in your feedback, see so what you think of it. Although I think you're using both of them so it's the uh, oops, not that one, idiot. <laughs> start, start me that on. one. So it's driving instructor thing with you. Yeah. With you. There's actually less pages, but it's the same thickness because the pages are slightly heavier quality. Heavier. Yeah. But it's lighter, hmm. which is odd. odd. But have a look at it. Let me know what you think. Yeah, I will. Well done for that. <laughs> Jobs are good.